This video is going to take a look at NetTutor, which is one of uh, our integrated tools in Blackboard. Um, there are two different ways you can uh, provide NetTutor to your students, which covers a huge wide variety of topics. Um, the first would be to add it to your course menu. It's a plus, uh, you click the add menu item, which is the plus button in the top left corner of the menu. You'll select tool link. Um, we can call it Net Tutor, or you may just call it tutoring or uh, whatever you want to call it, supplemental assistance. Uh, I like to call it what the tool is called, so Net Tutor. Uh, for the tool, we'll choose Net Tutor, and then we want to make it available to students. As always, when we click Submit, it's going to add that new item to the very bottom of your course menu, so you can move it around if you'd like. Uh, and this adds the tool on your menu. You can also add it within a content area if you choose, and that's going to be Tools, More Tools, and then Net Tutor. And you'll have to be asked to do the same thing, which is title the link to it. Um, let's see. Uh, so give it a title. It already links to the appropriate tool. So if you want to provide some context, which I do recommend, um, you can remind students that it's free and that they have tutors available at all times of the day. And this is in addition to the services that we have on campus. Uh, we want to make sure that it's available. We can also track the number of views so we can see who and how many times they're going through the tutoring. And when we click submit, it's going to add it to that content area. So again, you've got two different ways that you can incorporate NetTutor and that's on your course menu by adding a tool link or within a content area, either route. Uh, whenever you click NetTutor, it's going to take it just a second and um, hmm. Okay, there we go. And so what we should see when um, NetTutor launches is that it's organized alphabetically by category. So we've got accounting, biology, business, chemistry, computer science, economics, English, reading and writing, finance, French, uh, first year experience or college student success. That could be helpful for our um, freshman seminar uh, courses. We've got geology, uh, live social sciences, um, math, and it's split into multiple categories, nursing and allied health. They do have an online writing lab, so we have one on campus. This is also available here. Uh, we have physics, Spanish, and statistics. Depending on which category you uh, open, you'll, you're bound to see different um, subcategories. So let's look at English, uh, reading and writing. Um, the, a lot of these areas will have a couple of different things. So students can click and they can drop in to meet with somebody live, assuming that they're available. They may have to wait. Um, they can drop off a question, which it, this to me is great because they can submit their question and check out. Um, and then anything that they do, whether that's meeting with the tutor or drop off questions, gets stored in that student's, um, what, they, what NetTutor calls a locker. So all of that stuff will be there for them if they need to revisit it. Um, let's see. Uh, the hours and customer so support are available, so if they have trouble, they can uh, get support for this. Um, the same thing for all the other categories. All you have to do is click it. Um, all the student has to do is click it. Um, you can check the schedule for live tutoring. So geology, they don't have a live tutor available at this time. Uh, you can still drop off questions and the same as English and reading and writing, that information gets stored for the student. Uh, again, just remind students that this is uh, completely free to them. Um, of course, we want to support on-campus services primarily, but this is a good backup option for after hours and weekends when on-campus staff aren't available.